Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be on the Phillies. Hector Neris, former Philly, now going to the Houston Astros as they bank on Hector, really emerging out of the closer role as they took him out of the closer role last year to end up rounding out with a very good stat line at the end of the year, above league averages, 115 ERA plus for people that like the more analytical ERA stat. And then 3.63 overall ERA when he was up in the 6 and 7s in the first half. Really brought it down. Really did great out of the pen. Not in the closer role. And he's not going to be the closer out there in Houston. Because they, of course, have the great Ryan Presley who was going to man the closer role. And that's going to let Hector slot into the role that he emerged in. And pitch to a below 2, I believe it was, when we looked at the stats around ERA when he was put into that role just as a straight-up reliever, not closing. He also pitched 74 and one-thirds innings and had 74 appearances. The big thing, even though Hector Neres, of course, has had um some time of inconsistent seasons, uh, he's been an anchor in the bullpen because an anchor is defined as someone that can just take the ball and really be durable for you. And he's had three times he's gone over 70 um, games, 79, almost 80 in 2016, which is ridiculous. 17 was 74, and then 74 this year, you had a shortened season, so that's thrown out the window in 2020 in terms of games. And then you go to 68 in 2019, um, and then in his inconsistent season in 2018, where he was pretty bad, and with the 5'10", obviously you're not going to put him in as many games. So yes, he's been inconsistent, but throughout his career, um, he's a guy that's the franchise all-time leader in strikeouts and actually top 10 with 80, only 84 saves. So that goes to show uh, Papelbon, obviously, is also our all-time leading saves leader. But they got Ryan Presley out there in Houston. He's going to fit in perfectly into this bullpen. And also, he, of course, gets, when it comes to his contract... Uh, he would be getting paid 8.5 per year, which is why when it came to my Philadelphia Phillies, I did not necessarily think they were going to retain him, even though because he really emerged out of the closer role and the Phillies were focusing on trading for, say, Craig Kimbrough as somebody they've been in rumors for or getting a different closer. I, <coughs> excuse me, did not think he would be in the closer role, and therefore I did not think the Phillies, with the way Dombrowski called out John Middleton for not giving them enough money, would spend eight or more million dollars on Hector Neres to be out of the close role, even though I think when it comes to a very durable guy who's an anchor who's only had two down seasons, one of them being a shorter season that a lot of guys, if you go and look at their numbers, were often that are usually consistent. Um, that's something that I think they should have spent the bread on. They didn't. The Houston Astros did. And now he's going to fit into that bullpen just as a regular reliever, a steady Eddie reliever, a guy that could be an anchor in your bullpen that can go out there for 65 or more games a season. We've already seen it. The lowest total he ever had, excluding the shortened season, was his off season in um, 2018 when he just didn't pitch well to a 5'10 ERA because before that he wasn't up enough to, to be able to pitch those same numbers ever since the 2017 season. When he was, cons or the 2016 season, excuse me, when he was consistently up a lot, uh, he's pitched in a remarkable amount of games, and that's something you want to have in your bullpen. You want to have a guy that can just take the ball day in and day out and be a pretty consistent reliever in his entire career. Because in his eight year career, he has a 3.42 ERA, and he has a 1.192 career whip, 7.4 hits per nine, 1 1.3 homers per nine. Um, which is <clears throat> his career in 162 game average, basically hit on the same thing when you look at his numbers. So that's when you know he's nothing but consistent. And he's a pitcher that I think we're going to realize some guys kind of get knocked around a little bit by the fan base. And then once you realize they're leaving for my Phillies faithful, he's a pitcher that I think people are going to miss more than they anticipate going into next season, being a guy that's an anchor in your pen that takes it more than 65 to 70 games. He's a guy you're going to miss a bit, and the Astros are going to get a great game for my overall baseball fans I watch the video. This is going to be great for you, Astros fans, because he's going to play in his role as long as you don't have injuries, but you also still have depth in your pen to go to someone else, minus Hector again as a closer. He's going to fit perfectly in that 8th inning role, even 7th inning role, or whenever the hell you need him, because that's when Girardi used him, where it was kind of put him into whatever spot you need him outside of the closer role and he's looked his best and also of course at times in his career 
he has looked fine in the closer role. It's just, if you look at Hector, he seems like obviously he fits the best from outside of that role. So he's going to fit into the puzzle great in Houston. They got an anchor, a guy that can pit over 70 some games a season, and a guy that when he's at his best is one of the better relievers, honestly, in terms of getting ground ball rate, getting double plays, and all that, what have you. And he started to use his other pitches more last year, too, and gain confidence outside of just the split. So that's a huge asset moving forward as well. That's why I thought the Phillies should keep him, too. It seemed like he was obviously been an anchor, as I said in this video, his entire career, being able to go over 70 games in multiple seasons and 60 in others, which is great to see in itself. But you have to um, be able to recognize once a guy starts throwing more of his pitches and getting confidence in it, that's when you really want to keep him around. They didn't. The Astros take advantage of it, and I wish Hector nothing but the best down there in Houston. Peace out, everybody. Have a great day and pleasant day, as this has been a, another reaction to a baseball offseason move by Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boris. Subscribe down below on the Easy Juice widget up above is Hector Nears for two years, $17 million. Goes to the Houston Astros. Peace out, everybody.